Hello, my name's Mike, M0MSN, and uh, there's been a lot of chat about how to make these trombones, and do you need a lathe? Can I get the materials? Well, this is a quick video to show you that you can make them out of common central heating or plumbing materials. How to make a trombone capacitor. Simple, it really is simple. 15 mil copper pipe. 22 mil copper pipe, 20 mil outside diameter, I think it's about 17 mil inside diameter, plastic conduit, electrical conduit, okay. So I've cut a length of 15 mil copper pipe, which is 25 and a half centimeters long. I've cut a length of the plastic conduit, which is 31 and a half centimetres long. And I've cut the 22 mil pipe to 29 and a half centimetres long. These are random lengths. I didn't cut them to that length because I thought, oh, that looks nice or anything. It is literally just lengths that I cut. Okay, so they're not the same length. This is our um are outside of the capacitor we are fortunate to have found this 20 mil um outside diameter plastic pipe which just so happens to fit perfectly and i mean perfectly inside of our 22 mil pipe now when you cut the pipe with, with the the pipe cutters you get a slight bezel on the end of the pipe, which means the 20 mil plastic will not go through, which is perfect because it means that we can create the end of our trombone with a slight isolator and it also grips it really, really well. So that's now in, okay? This is the 15 mil copper pipe. And if you put it inside this, it rattles, which means the capacitance won't be uh, the same each time you push it in and out. So we need something that's exactly the same external diameter as the internal diameter of our plastic. And it just so happens that 15 mil straight couplers are exactly that. So that is absolutely brilliant. So we'll solder them on. Okay. Now if we want to make sure that uh, it doesn't rattle at all, we can cut the pipe here, add another one, and then put another one on the bottom. I'm not intending to do that. I'm only intending to use two for this. So one at the top, one at the bottom, okay, insert it in, and there, believe it or not, is our capacitor. Now I'm going to test this capacitor for capacitance, find out how much it's got. Okay, so we've got our LC meter, and at the moment the capacitance uh, is not connected. Okay, it's not connected. Uh, so our um, trombone, uh, I'm going to connect the inner now. Hopefully, you can see this on the film. Okay, so it's got a certain amount of capacitance already, and I'll just touch the outside 90. So 92 puff, okay, the maximum we can get is 92 puff. And if we move it out, 70, I don't know how much I can go on this, 
and so on. Okay, so that's so our capacitor works. I need something to hold it in, which is non-conductive. And it literally is as simple as, as that to build. Okay, as simple as that to build.